we bring in a man who needs no introduction, Mike Golick himself. Mike, welcome to the show, man. How you been? I'm doing well, man. Doing well. You know, I've been uh, haven't been talking sports in a while, so I have a lot of you know pent up energy. <laughs> Good. Let's get rid of it right now. It seems like the Panthers are going after Deshaun Watson. At least that's what everyone else is seemingly doing as well. Probably starts with three first rounders and then a top 10 player on your roster. Is that too much to give up? What should they give up? Should they do anything like that? Here's the thing. If you're going to be in the Deshaun Watson sweepstakes, you better be ready to give up a ton. If you're not, don't even make the call. But we know the very least what it's going to cost you. So if you're going to try and lowball, don't even get into the conversation. If you're going to go in there with a serious thought process of three first rounders and one of your one of your better players, then yeah. And, and would I do it? Yeah. The quarterback position is the most important position in the NFL. And that's tough to say as a former D lineman, <laughs> but it is. You have a guy in Deshaun Watson that you're trying to get. This is what you're trying to accomplish. First round quarterback who turns into a franchise quarterback, one of the best in the league. That's him. And he's only 25 years old. So, yes, I would make the move. Having said that, Mike, if they aren't able to get Deshaun Watson, do you think they're good with a guy like Teddy Bridgewater? Or do you think they need to go out and whether it's trade for another guy or draft a guy, do they need to upgrade that position regardless? <laughs> oh, y yes, yes, I do. I definitely think they do. And listen, we already know. And again, there, there's the whole feelings and mental part of it. You know, they already tried to deal Teddy to Detroit for Stafford. So that. Listen, that's business. That's the one thing every player has got to understand. This is a business. And sometimes you may not like the business, but you know what? It's the way it goes. You know, it, it's a business and you have to deal with it. I think they need to upgrade that position, yes. Whether it's bringing in a vet this year to compete with Teddy or possibly take over the job or draft a guy. Listen, Matt Rule comes in. You make some changes. You get rid of some of the older players, the Keekleys, uh, the Greg Olson short goes this year on your defensive line. You're, you're kind of rebuilding a bit. You're, right now, you were doing it with McCaffrey, unless he's going to be in the deal to get to Sean Watson. So you may start doing that with a quarterback. And if you're going to do that, then it's going to come down to the grades you have on the quarterbacks. And if you think one of the quarterbacks that's going to go higher in the draft has a grade that you think is the one to get, then you have to use some of your assets to move up in the draft to possibly get the quarterback you want. What else do you think the Panthers need to address? I don't know how much you got to really watch them this season, but what do you think they need to address most outside of that quarterback spot, you think? Well, you look at the offensive line. You got, what, one guy under contract in Paradise Bolton. They'll probably tag, what do you have, to the ninth. We're seeing that teams are starting to go down the line of getting that depth on a D-line with some big picks. There's certainly other areas, you know, wide receiver, you know, a true number one. You know, a, a true guy like that, do you feel you have that right now? You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure uh, that, that you do. So there are there are definitely uh, positions to fill. But if you feel, again, that one of these rookie quarterbacks coming in is a franchise quarterback, then you do what you have to to get it. Mike, what's been your take on Matt Rule's first season? You know, some of these college coaches come in and they work out. Others don't. It seems like he's changed the culture. The record didn't, you know, necessarily live up to that. But do you think he's on the right path going forward? I mean, listen, this is one of the most overplayed things. There were, what, seven new coaches this year, right? Seven new coaches, and only one had previous head coaching experience, and that was in college. That was Urban Meyer. Nobody else did. We had no quote-unquote retreads this year. And I saw grades out of this coach and that coach this great. We don't know what the hell any of them are going to do. No idea. So Matt Rule, we've seen what he did at Temple. We saw what he did at Baylor. He comes in the first year. He's going to get his team. It, does, it takes more than a year. So you get rid of some guys. You bring some guys in. You get the personality of the team. No idea, guys. I, I wish I could give you a better answer. <laughs> but those that are saying, oh, this coach coming in should get a grade of B, but this coach coming in should get a D grade, you don't know that. Nobody knows how these guys are going to do. you got to give it a little bit of time, and you have to give, give him time to build. You saw what they did way back in San Fran with, with Kyle Shanahan not too long ago. Six-year deal. That's what you need to do. Know your coach has time to build what he's trying to build.
And I agree entirely with that. You can't have a guy in a hot seat from day one. <laughs> otherwise, rush judgments, and you're in trouble from the start. All right, Mike, so I love the football breakdown. I need the Will Kunkel breakdown now because you saw him way back in the day when he started work. What was he like and what stories can I now make fun of him for? Oh, the pretty bowl. I mean, come on. He's the, <laughs> the, what the pretty boy, right? Oh, okay. I thought I it was mean, a whole bowl of this. Though. Okay, continue. Keep going. Go on. <laughs> I, I get it, but, you know, that was – that was, oh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a pretty boy. He's a good-looking guy, man. We're going to see where this guy goes, you know, with his, all his, his good looks, you know. So that was that was the Will Kunkel story. Yeah, well, here we are now, same spot on CSL, man. Hope you're enjoying life and playing a lot of golf these days. Oh, yeah, the golf is going better. Got to work on the driver, so I'm short game is really good right now. Wow, geez, you got the short game down, but you need to fix the driver? I wish I had that problem. <laughs> I, I do. Maybe it's too many beers during the round that's hurting the drive. Probably swinging too hard. <laughs> Good man, Mike. We appreciate you popping on CSL, man. And tell, tell the rest of the family I say hello.